In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply conditional formatting on alternate to variable rows. For example, on column A, you can see we have the list of name and they are repeated variable number of time. The goal is to calculate the grouping count for each of the name. For example, this is the first group, second group, third group, fourth group, as well as how to apply conditional formatting. And I will also show you the similar solution for Google Sheet as well. Consider we have this blank data sheet. The first thing I will apply a very easy if condition here. If I write if open parenthesis, click on A2 equal, click on A1. When these two are equal, comma, I want the result of N open parenthesis G1 close parenthesis. Otherwise, I want the result N open parenthesis G1 close parenthesis plus 1 close parenthesis for if condition. Now, the N function actually convert the text value to 0 and number value to 1. If I hit enter, this will calculate 1 because in this case, A2 is not equal to A1. So, this will return NG1 plus 1. If I drag this formula down, it will calculate the grouping count for each of the group. Now, if I click on the G3 cell, you can see A3 is equal to A2. So, this will return NG2 result. Now, NG2 is actually a number. So, 1. And if the result is false, like in this case, A5 is not equal to A4. So, in this case, this will return NG4. NG4 is 1 plus 1. So, this will increase the count by plus 1. This formula works fine if I apply a very easy is even function and the conditional formatting will work. But one of the problem here, if I insert a new blank row. The formula will break and we need to drag the formula down every time we insert a new blank row. Now the second problem we also face if I delete any of the row in between, you can see we get REF error and we want to avoid this error. Of course, we can drag this formula down and it will work, but we want to avoid this manual step. For now, I will delete the blank row and I will also delete the whole formula. If I click on G2 cell and type equal scan open parenthesis initial value what you want so in this case for the initial value i will simply type zero for the array i will select the range but i will select a2 and i will drag the mouse and instead of 10 i will increase the range to let's say 10,000 rows comma for the function i will write lambda open parenthesis for the parameter i will define my parameter name so for initial parameter i will simply write a you can write any name for the range, I will define R. Now, the third parameter is to write if condition. If I write if, open parenthesis, I will define R. When R equal to, so actually what is mean by R? R is actually the current rows. The scan function actually loop to each of the rows in the range, apply the function and get the result. So in this case, the R is A2 cell. When R equal to, and I will define offset, open parenthesis, for the reference, I will also define R since R mean A to sin, comma. For the rows, I will define minus 1. Now, what is mean by minus 1? This is my current row. I want to offset by minus 1 row. So, I will get A1 sin, comma. And I don't want to move to the column. So, I will simply define 0 for the column. Close parenthesis for offset function. Now, this is the similar condition like I show you A2 equal to A1, comma, whenever the if condition true, I want to return my initial value. In this case, my initial value is 0. And whenever the result is false, I want initial value plus 1. I will close parenthesis for if condition, close parenthesis for lambda, close parenthesis for scan function. Hit enter and this will calculate the grouping count. But the beauty of this function, if I insert a new blank row, the formula will still work. For now, I will delete this blank row and I will improve this formula a little bit more. Now, here is a scenario. What if I insert the second row? Right click insert row. This will insert new row and there is no formula. So, how we can avoid this error so that if we insert even on a second row, we want our formula on a second row to work. I will delete the second row for now and I will improve this function a little bit. I will click on G2, write vstack function, open parenthesis. What is the first array? Actually, vstack function join the two array vertically. So, first array will be our column header. So, I will simply write double quotation mark and I will write the heading of column. Grouping count double quotation mark. 
now hit comma and for the second array this whole formula result we want to display close parenthesis for vstack function hit enter and now i will delete g1 header and click on g2 copy the whole formula hit ctrl x hit enter double click on g1 ctrl v to paste the whole formula hit enter and now we have the one single formula and the header is also dynamically connected now if i click on a second row and insert a new row our formula will still work for now i will delete this row as well and one of the problem we are facing if i click here and hit control down arrow key you can see after 88 rows we don't have the data but our formula is still calculating we want to limit our array formula i will simply click control up arrow key and i will improve this formula a little bit more if i write here take open parenthesis in this case the whole formula is my array on the very end of the formula i will hit comma and how many rows you want to return i will apply counter function open parenthesis and in this case i will select the entire column close parenthesis for count take close parenthesis for take function hit enter this will return the same result but if i go to the bottom of the table control down arrow key you can see my formula is limited the very last blank row if i copy this group of data for example control c click here right click control v my formula will automatically expand now the last thing we need to apply conditional formatting i will select my data set of course i increase my data set range in conditional formatting later as well i will click on conditional formatting new rules use formula to determine click here and i will simply write is even is even actually this function return true when the value is even and false when the value is odd number open parenthesis in this case i will select dollar g2 since my starting row are the second row so i will simply type g2 close parenthesis and i will click on the format select fill color in this case i will select this green color hit ok hit ok and this is how we can apply conditional formatting for variable alternator rows now if you want to update conditional formatting range you just need to click anywhere on this table go to conditional formatting manage rule and here you can just update the range you want for example i want to apply on 2000 rows apply hit ok and this is how you can update conditional formatting range copy this whole formula ctrl c go to my google sheet double click on g1 ctrl v to paste my whole formula hit enter and this will return a name error this is because google sheet cannot support the take function so we need to remove the take function from this formula simply remove the first part of take function and also the second parameter of take function hit enter and this will return the result but how we can limit this array formula now so in google sheet we have a function array constraint if i click here space lift arrow key and i write array constraint open parenthesis input range this whole formula is my input range hit comma how many rows you want we will apply the same counter function open parenthesis select the entire column a close parenthesis how many columns you want we want one column close parenthesis for array constraint function hit enter and this will return the same result but if i click control down arrow key now my formula limit the result till the very last blank row if i select let's say this group of data sheet control c click here control v you can see my array formula automatically expand now to apply conditional formatting i will go to the top of the rows select all of my data sheet of course we can later increase the conditional formatting range as well go to format conditional formatting click custom formula and develop the same formula equal is even open parenthesis dollar g2 close parenthesis and choose the color you want hit done and this is how we can apply conditional formatting in google sheet now of course if you want to increase the conditional formatting range you just need to click format conditional formatting click here and update the range from here let's say i want 2000 rows hit done and this is how we can update the conditional formatting range i hope you learned something useful from this video i will share both of the file with you in the link description if you have any specific question please write and comment and if you have time please share this video as well thank you so much